One thing that I keep on seeing popping up on social media is people always asking about how they should be carrying their rifles when they're hunting. One of the biggest questions is, should I have a round in the chamber? So I thought I'd just address uh, this topic. In my opinion, people are overly cautious when it comes to firearms. Now, I'm not saying it's not good to be fucking safe and cautious, but people are being overly cautious um, with no real need to be. Like there was a post on Facebook the other day, some bloke talking about lever actions, and he said, um, with a lever action, should I walk around with a round in the chamber? Or should I have a round chambered and it on half cock? And fucking all the comments, you know, some people are saying, yep, have a round chambered and have it uh, on half cock. But the vast majority of people are saying, no, 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 don't, don't do that. Walk around with a round out of the chamber. I was like, what the fuck is the point of that? You're out there to hunt. Like if you were going shooting, which is a different thing than hunting, obviously, then yeah, don't fucking walk around the round of the chamber because you don't intend to shoot. Um, which is what a lot of state laws will say, you know, you don't have a round chamber until you have intended to shoot. But if you're hunting, obviously you intend to fucking shoot, don't you? Because you're out there hunting. Lever action. I've got a lever action right here. Let's talk about this real quick. All right. Yep, we are clear. Modern lever actions have a safety catch, um, a cross bolt safety there. Um, and all that does is it puts a block physically in front of the hammer. So that's on safe. If I pull the trigger, the hammer can't go fully forward and hit the firing pin, thereby being safe. Most lever actions, if they're older ones, are not gonna have that safety, and a lot of people put a safety delete in there anyway because they're a bit useless. Because if you have it on half cock, like it is there, nothing happens when you pull the trigger. It physically cannot fire. There is no way you have to physically cock the hammer into full cock to allow you to fire. So to demonstrate this, you've chambered around. Hold your thumb on the hammer, decock it, release the trigger until it stops on half cock. Pull the trigger, trigger physically can't move. It's safe as houses. You go to fire, cock, dead animal. Look, it's as simple as that. What would be the point of walking around? You haven't got a round in the chamber. You know, you're walking around, you go, oh shit, a pig. And the pig goes, fuck you, and runs off. Pointless. Now obviously it's quicker to cock a hammer and fire, or take a safety catch off and fire, than it is to chamber around. So speed is a thing, and obviously noise is a thing, because usually the animal's gonna hear you fucking chamber around, it's gonna fuck off. Here's a little video of me firing from the half cock position, from a couple of different firing positions that you'll be you know, walking around with a rifle down, um, you know, down the bottom low, like you would normally walk around with a rifle, and then from you know, across the body if you're trying to clear a bino rig, or um, you know, low ready, high ready, etc. We've got a target at 25 meters, which is like the average engagement distance. The target is an eight inch gong, so it's gonna represent the vitals of, um, of a large deer. First one here we're gonna roll with is going to be from you know, carrying it down here. We're just gonna call this position the walk for the rest of the video, just because you know a lot of people walk with the weapon down like this. All right, so next one is the way I usually roll from stalking is up like this because it clears my bino rig. All right. All right, next one will be the low ready. Hit. Obviously, I don't really like the low ready because you're not really going to be walking like this unless you've you know, directly had some sort of visual or um, audible contact um, with that animal, so. Now the point to note is you want to have the weapon pointing in a fucking safe direction at all times. Obviously, if you have a round chambered, have some fucking muzzle awareness and don't point it at any cunt. It's not going to go off anyway because it's on safe and or half cock. However, still keep your fucking finger off the trigger and don't point it at any cunt and you're safe. Like, this shouldn't be a fucking argument. So, that's lever action. Let's quickly go on to a couple of other types. So, a bolt action rifle. Clear. All right, so this is currently on safe. Oh, look at that. Oh shit, it doesn't fire. Oh, that's amazing. It's almost like the safety catch is designed to fucking do that. Put it to fire, it fires. All right, a lot of um, weapons these days are coming out with these little trigger safeties as well. So without that leaf depressed, if I pull the trigger, it can't fire. You have to physically push down that first safety, almost like a Glock trigger, then pull the trigger. Look at that, it's amazing. 
with a rifle on safe, you can walk around and look, it's ergonomically designed to have your fucking thumb on the safety catch. So if you're worried about it bumping off, look at that. It can't go anywhere because your fucking thumb's on it. Then you go to fire, simple as that. Now here's a couple of videos of me doing the same drill again, but with a bolt action rifle. All right, so our four positions again. Another hit, broke the target again. I reckon I can hit that, hit that swinging, I reckon. Let's give it a crack. All right, and high ready. Oh, but that rifle's got a red dot on it. What if you got a scope? You can't be doing that. Well, you can. Shotguns. So to demonstrate how much I love safety catches and the fact that they fucking work, here's a little thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this shotgun round, put it in, make sure it's on safe, and in my own house, I'm gonna try and fire the weapon. Oh, look at that, it doesn't go off. Jokes though, that was a snap cap. Never fucking load your weapon in your house, you fucking idiots. Some people talk about, you know, carrying your weapon around on a sling. Uh, when you're hunting. I'm not a massive fan of slings and I'll tell you why. A sling for me is, I'm gonna call it an admin accessory because when I use a sling, or when you should be using a sling, is you know, you're know you moving from fucking A to B. You get out of the car and you go, I'm gonna walk to that hill, and when I get to that hill, that's when I'm gonna start hunting. Sling your rifle, that way you can't fucking touch it, nothing's gonna go wrong. If you're walking around people, if they see you with a slung weapon, they go, okay, he's not actually doing anything, his weapon is slung. So having a sling on is very good for an administration sort of thing of like, okay, I'm not gonna use this weapon, but I need to carry it from A to B, just like having it in, a, in your pack. But when you're actually hunting, you should not be using your sling, and here's why. If you have your weapon slung over your shoulder, the amount of time it would take you to unsling your weapon and then fire is phenomenal. I've seen it happen a lot of times, and I've done it myself a few times, uh, where I've had my weapon slung, bumped into an animal that I wasn't expecting to see it, at that point in time, by the time I've got my weapon off my shoulder, obviously the animal's fucked off. If you do have your weapon slung, I would highly advise that you do not have a round in the chamber because you are not controlling that weapon at that point in time. It's pointing into the fucking air. And if you do bump anything, you don't want to launch a fucking round into the stratosphere. If you have your weapon slung, treat it like you're not going to use the weapon and thereby, by most state laws anyway, you can't have a round in the chamber because you don't intend to fire. So, rifle slung, don't have a round in the chamber. You're now into hunting, take your fucking rifle off your shoulder, put a round in the chamber, trust your safety catch, and go from there. As with anything shooting, uh, don't just expect that, you know, you're going to be awesome at it straight away. Like if, you, and if you've never carried your weapon with a round in the chamber, and you want to get into being able to react fast and shoot animals quickly, like maybe a fox popped up or a fucking pig popped up, or you're like, oh shit, there's a deer. Don't go from, you know, if you've never really hunted like that before, or used your firearm in that manner, don't just go straight out in the bush and go, yeah, fuck it, like I saw this dickhead on YouTube talk about it, so I'm gonna do that. Fucking practice it. Run a couple of drills, see what position you like to carry your weapon in and see how easy and or how hard it is to get it into your shoulder and fire quickly. There is no point in just fucking willy-nilly, yet. yeah, that'll fucking do because you're gonna be shit at it um, and you're probably gonna miss targets anyway. Key takeaways, if you have your weapon slung, don't have a round in the chamber. If you have a round in the chamber, have it on safe. If you have it on safe, trust your safety. Always put your muzzle in a safe direction. Always keep your finger off the trigger until you're about to fire. Practice your shots. That's all I've got for today. Hooroo.